Hi, my name is Carrie Underly, and I am the owner of Range and the author of The Art of Beef Cutting. Today I'm going to show you my secrets to grilling tender meat. Now, it starts way before you get on the grill. One of the things that I like to do is brine. So when it comes to chicken or pork, there's a real simple brine that you can do. What I like to take is a gallon of water, a cup of sugar, and a cup of salt. You can tweak your salt and sugar based on your preference, um, but I like to go one ratio to each with a gallon of water. So we're going to go ahead and pour the water. Um, you also need a bucket that can handle the gallon of water and also the amount of chicken that you're going to put in here or pork. So we're going to take a gallon of water and we're going to pour it in our container. And if you don't have a container like this, anything that's deep, it could be a pan, it could be a deep pot, anything, anything will work. Um, we're going to take a cup of the brown sugar and we're going to add um, a cup of kosher salt. You can use um, regular kosher, you can use kosher salt, you can use regular salt. Um, it really doesn't matter. If you're going to use kosher salt, Kosher salt takes a little longer to dissolve, so you want to make sure that you um, give it some time to mix and, and get happy there. So we've got about a, a cup of salt here, and we're going to go ahead and pour that in. We're just going to stir this to let the salt and the sugar break down with the water. You can see at the bottom where the salt is still pretty crystallized. And we're just going to let this um, continue to get happy in here. And what will happen is the, the salt and the sugar mixture will um, penetrate into the, the chicken. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead. And I like to, when I'm on the grill, take chickens and just leave them in the halves. So again, you could use pieces, parts, whole chickens, whatever you prefer. We're going to put this in the marinade. And we're fortunate here that the brine um, covers it all. If for some reason your, your meat was sticking up, you could um, put just something heavy on top just, just to keep it in the mixture. Because if it's sticking out, it won't get to brine. So we're going to cover this up. And then we will put this in the refrigerator. We're going to let this um, marinate anywhere or brine for 6 to 24 hours. So I usually like to put it in overnight and then take it out the ne next evening for a great grill. Now we have our thick ribeye steak that we've already salt and peppered, and then we also have our brined chicken. Now the big trick here is make sure that you do indirect cooking on the grill. And what that means is you're going to have two burners on and two off. So we have two burners on and one off. So first of all we're going to take our nice thick ribeye steak and we're going to sear it along with our chicken. Now it's very important to keep chicken and beef separated when you're cooking on the grill. You can definitely cook it on the same location, but just make sure that you have it in different area. We're going to let this sit for about a minute. I'm going to turn the steak and then we're going to move them to indirect. All right, so we've let our steak um, sear on one side approximately two to three minutes. It really depends on the level of your grill. So. Um, the first tip to know is when it's time to turn your steak is that it'll be ready, to, it'll just be loose. If it still hangs onto the grill, don't turn it over. All right, so we're gonna flip this over. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this metal pan because I'm doing a half a chicken, the juices will drip out and this will help with the fat and the juices from catching fire on the grill. So we're gonna put this in here. And we're gonna let this set. We're going to come back and check out and see how our steak and our chicken's doing. All right, now we have our beautiful steak. Um, we let that steak grill for about another 10 minutes or so, depending on your degree of doneness. I like medium rare, which is about 135. You're going to pull it. And now we let our chicken cook for about another 20 minutes. And now you'll see here, we've got these nice, wonderful juices from, from our chicken. So we're going to go ahead and pull that off and serve it up. I'm Carrie from Range Inc. and I hope you enjoyed my secrets.